This is my glorious Speed MP. Nothing is better than this tennis racket. Apart from this one right here. This is the Blader 100, better in every single way than the Speed MP. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you why. Now, today we are testing and comparing and doing one of our versus range. And this is the incredible Blade 100 version 9 in all its glory. And this is the Head Speed MP 2024. Cool. So why? Why compare these two rackets? Well, in terms of the spec, they are basically identical. Right? They are both 100 square inch, they both weigh 300 grams, and they both have a 1619 string pack. So they should play exactly the same then? Do so they have the same balance point? 320? 320. 320, same balance point. So to all intents and purposes, these are the same. One is green, one is black and white, but there is a huge difference. Yeah, so what, yeah and that's what's kind of amazing about tennis rackets is, is that they play very differently. Yeah. And, and so we're really gonna delve deep into that today um, to find out why they play differently. A deep dive into racket materials. A deep dive into blades, speeds, and why the blade is better. So both of these rackets are control frames, whatever that means. Uh, both of the brands say they are easy to manoeuvre, they are thin beam, they are flexible, they give great feel between the contact and your hands, so you are in control of your game. Yeah, absolutely, and to make sure it's a fair test, because we are nothing but fair here at PH Tennis, we have strung both rackets with identical strings, identical gauge, identical tension, and that is restring sync, the 1.25 gauge at 50 pounds of tension. So there can be no one in the comments saying, well, it's pointless if you don't string them with the same you string. Even strung by the same stringer, one after the other, <laughs> within, were. within 20 minutes of each other. So. so a really fair comparison where the rackets will shine through uh, and see which what, what the playability of them and see which one really is the best in this versus. We're gonna jump on court, mix and match, play with both and see how we get on. We have just got off court from quite a hard session, or harder for me anyway, um, testing the new Wilson Blade 100 At against the Speed MP. Both new rackets, this is obviously version 9, came out a couple of months ago, equally Speed MP 2024. Yeah. So a good comparison, and your first thoughts, which one's better? Um, I'm sticking with my Speed. And although I was very overly confident that I thought the Blade was better at the start, I think I might have changed my mind, and maybe in this discussion uh, will help uh, narrow down my final choice. But the speed was much better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, so it, it felt to me like the speed was just a bit more than the blade. And I know that's a, like an abstract piece of nonsense for all of you, and I shall try and explain, but essentially it, feel, it feels heavier, it feels solid. It's not heavier, it, you know, it's not, but, you know, it just felt like more impactful. So you kind of like, you got a bit more power, you got a bit more, it felt a bit more solid, I think is the word. Like, I was, I'm never gonna call the blade like flimsy, but in con direct comparison to this, it is flimsier. Does that make sense? Do you agree? Yes, it, the blade is much more forgiving, mm -hmm. much softer, like remark, re they're remarkably different. Yes. Given all the other spec being the same, remarkably different and I think for similar reasons, I think the speed is, gives you more power and more stability on contact. So I think it's probably, st and the, the whole point of Oxetic, which is speed's kind of the head's main technology, is that on impact, the Oxetic technology stiffens up the racket. Yeah, and, you feel it. And I think you can feel that in comparison to the blade, whereas the blade stays soft in your hand, which feels nice and cushioned, but the speed feels more solid. Yeah, on so, impact, and I think that allows it to play mm, that little bit bigger. So I wouldn't say it feels soft, and I think actually, weirdly, they've named it right. It does feel a bit more bladey. Like, it, it, it feels more manoeuvrable, it feels thinner, it feels lighter. Than it, the speed. Than the speed, yes. yes. So, like, it's almost like the speed, in the past, you'd say that this felt more solid and this felt more speedy. 
Now this feels solid and that feels bladey. Like they've kind of gone I don't, away a little bit. Yeah, I don't, I don't, well, I don't know. I haven't used the old yeah. ones enough to be able to make that sort of judgment. But I think, I think certainly your point that this feels, it feels thinner and more maneuverable and more maneuverable yeah. and more control focused and the speed feels that little bit thicker more solid more yes. power focused but let's go through our categories um, yes. and see yeah, yeah. what is the winner so for power my vote would go with the speed mp yes um all things being equal speed mp However, I do feel like you can probably, it feels like you can throw this racket more because it feels thinner and more maneuverable. If you've got a particularly wristy, flicky play style, you might actually get more power from the blade. But if you've got like a shorter, like just like Josh does, a shorter, heavier swing. But then you think, because you do have a wristy, flicky, so which ones do you think you get more power from? I, I don't think it's, I think you have to be really extreme with this but dancing through the different sensations that we use i feel like most of the time this is giving more when equal if you see what i mean yeah, yeah. strangely this feels bigger yep way bigger the blade feels like a 110 if the yeah. speed is 100 or if the speed was actually if the speed of mp was actually a 98 and this was 100 i'd be like yeah that kind of feels yeah. right um because equally i think this feels more comfortable when you don't quite nail it mm -hmm. than the speed. And maybe you get more power then. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, but power overall, speed MP, I think is the winner. Um, spin. Blade. Yeah, blade. Again, it feels big. The string pattern, although the same feels more open, I feel like you get more string movement. I have it. And I feel like you get more spin and get more topspin. I think you get surprising spin when you nail one. It just bites and rips up much more than on the speed. Yeah, the string beds look, I mean, just a quick casual glance, look very, very similar, but you do get way, it does get more spin. Yeah. Um, and when we tested the Blade 100 on its own, it was a surprise how much spin yeah. you got. And compared to the Blade, uh, sorry, compared to the speed, it's not a surprise because it's so spinny, but it's definitely more. So we're at one all. Speed has got power in the bag. Blade has snuck spin. So now what these rackets are for, control. We're gonna have an argument now, aren't we? Quite possibly. <laughs> yeah. Where do you think the control sits? If someone, if I said to you, ah, oh, there's a thousand pounds on the table, you've got to make 50 balls in a row bouncing behind the service line against the most consistent baseline play you can ever find, what racket between these two are you choosing to do I'm, that? I'm using the... Speed. I'm using the speed. Why? Because you're used to it or because you think it's actually what more control? Um, I, think it's, I think it's more predictable in terms of its com of concept. so that's why it's, it's, yes it's more powerful but that's beside the point it's it's good you've got a more predictable impact out of the speed than you do from the blade and that goes to the start about it feel it feels stiffer on impact yes and i think on that same light i certainly agree that the feeling on impact is stiffer and more consistent with the speed however the maneuverability and mm. flex and give and dwell time that I think you get with the blade from it giving more yeah. gives you the ability to have more control. So I would go for control of the blade over yeah. the speed. I would say it's quite dependent on the context. If you're comfy, in control, nice easy ball, I think speed. Yeah. If someone is hammering it at you and you're all over the place and you're having to defend and chisel the ball around and dig it out and then flick one and drive then maybe the blade is a bit more versatile and the speed is a bit you know it, that's got breadth and this has got depth there you go breadth and depth sure there you go. so we're gonna call that a score draw yeah uh so we're at one and a half points each and next we have feel yeah tough one what does it even mean yeah <laughs> no um feel to me is when you impact the ball that you kind of feel at one with the racket and you can place the ball where you like. I'm thinking drop volleys, yep. touch and feel, volleying, like soft hands that the racket kind of really gives with you. Yes. Um, and when it comes to those things... You going blade? I'm going blade. Yeah. Um, well, feel to me, like is similar, based on what your categories you just said, yeah, I'm going with the blade as well. So there we go, blade is in yeah. the lead. But 
we don't like i'm going to get in trouble now because it's not on the list of things we have to go through but ease of use i'm going blade like just picking up and using it and, and but fun i'm still going mp i want to like unless it's got more power no it's not because it's got more power it's just something there's something sort of and it probably is because it's my racket of choice it's it's, and it's got power yeah it's i feel like the blade is just not quite the speed it doesn't quite feel as good it doesn't quite feel as solid it doesn't give me quite as much and i think this is important because i think this is where it is a very obvious split in start type and style of player yeah. depending on which one you would go for yeah um because obviously a lot of people who enjoy these sorts of rackets probably out of, probably going to prefer a blade 98 even more than both of them yeah maybe <laughs> yeah well and then which one it's, yeah we've got a very good video on the 16 19 the 18 20. Speak. and again me and joe was completely split on that say so yourself yeah uh so power spin control feel it's a bit of a wash isn't kind it? kind of precision ball striking if you were if you, so back to my adage thousand pounds baseline you got five cones in the corner of the court to aim for which one are you using to try and hit your spot speed yeah and i would go speed for that yeah i think because like i was saying this feels bigger feels more open this feels tighter yeah. and more stable and therefore i feel like i could hit spots better so i've long thought that rackets were designed to be 98 when they get made into 100 they lose something yeah and they lose some of what they were meant to do it's definitely there's other rackets where it doesn't work as well i think actually it works really really well on the blade until you compare it to the speed and it just feels back it feels like a snowshoe doesn't it in comparison it's really yeah. surprising yeah i don't know and i think to be fair is maybe and we haven't done a video comparing the blade 100 to the 1619 and 1820 but i think it'd be an unfair fight yeah i think i think it's in a different it's in a different category it's mm -hmm. it's, it's in a standalone category in terms of something that gives you that traditional blade feel and control yeah but more access to kind of ease of ease of use of power and spin yeah so i mean we kind of drifted into our sort of overall sum up they're both excellent rackets yeah i think we can agree on that i still prefer the speed the scoring suggests it's a draw so it is kind of down to you to so for me i think an important part of this is the string we have in the racket so we've got restring sync which is one of the best control strings available but it is a control string yes. it requires work and effort to get something out of the rackets yeah. that it's in so i think that with a more powerful string in this blade maybe restring zero in comparison to the sync you're gonna get even more playability from it and you're going to get some more power like you get from the speed but equally obviously if the speed had a power string in it that would feel different as well so as they are in their setups personally i think i would go with the speed because playing outdoors playing on a quicker surface needing something more something needing something more stable on contact having to defend more often than attack yep. and whereas if i was playing indoors or it was hot and the balls were harder and the pace was easier to generate and i was looking for something to just rein it in and give me more control and feel than that then i would go blade so my answer is both for different environments well and i think to put a bow on everything that's perfect they're both very very good they're both incredibly similar so it really does come down to the context and the situation you find yourself in it's you know if these rackets were more obviously different it would be easier to say oh yeah it's always the speed but it isn't always the speed and it's not always the blade it really is going to depend on you and where you are however we cannot leave you without an answer no so we well i think there's only one thing for it we've got to decide on looks well hang on because we preface this video with yeah. am i going to change my racket yeah are you no okay. i'm not so there you go <laughs> so in summary these are both excellent rackets we can't really decide I think they're both good for different times. Ben would always go with the speed. So I guess that does mean overall the winner of this versus is the head speed MP. Good luck. Good try, Blade. Better luck, version 10. Just. Just. Thanks for watching. If you completely disagree with our opinions, which of course you will, will not do, then leave it in the comments. Equally, if you think we're the greatest tennis YouTubers available, please so, also let us know. Some of you do, and thank you very much for those of you. No who one thinks that. Not the great, no, not greatest ever. Yeah, Mr. Beast, isn't it? Oh, well, he's not a tennis YouTuber. He probably could. Should we try and get him on? That'd be good. I reckon yeah. he's expensive. Nah. nah. He does anything for a like. <laughs> Till next time. <laughs>